This warm summer weather can be perfect for a dog walk by the lake, but many people in New Brunswick are keeping their pets out of the water. Four dogs have now died after going for a swim. Megan Roberts is here to tell us why. So what happened to these dogs, Megan? Well, we know the cause of death for three of the dogs, Rashmi, and it is suspected that the fourth dog also died in the same way, and that was contact to blue-green algae blooms. Let's take a look at these four dogs. So you can see Suki, Peekaboo, and Nike. We know that those three dogs died days apart after playing in the St. John River in Fredericton, and they were confirmed by the provincial veterinarian to have died after consuming the blue-green algae. Now, if you see Layla on the far right there, she died after playing in the Kennebecasis River in Somerville, and her family says she spent just a few minutes in the water. When she came out, she had labored breathing, she was not active, and she died very shortly after. They couldn't even get her to the vet. They didn't have time to do that. Her family suspects that she also came into contact with blue-green algae, but this just happened, so that's not confirmed yet. They did say that they agreed to let the province examine Layla to see if blue-green algae was, in fact, the cause of her death, Rashmi. And these incidents were in New Brunswick, but that doesn't mean it's something Canadians everywhere can ignore, right? We should be concerned. Absolutely. Blue-green algae happens across Canada. It's not just a regional or a provincial thing. And right now, we all know it's summer. It's been a particularly hot summer. People are looking for ways to cool off. People are looking to keep their pets from overheating. So you need to be careful about the water that you're going into. Let me walk you through a little bit about blue-green algae, what we know about it. It's a bacteria that can produce harmful toxins, harmful not only to pets, but also to humans. It's present in all, almost all Canadian Canadian lakes in the summer and the fall. It's not something that's normally visible, but it can appear as a soup-like layer like you see on the right side of your screen there. We know it grows in areas with certain nutrients or polluted runoff, and it can also bloom in particularly high temperatures like we've been seeing across Canada. And finally, you're not supposed to drink water that has it or bathe or swim in it. And you can always keep an eye out as well for algae warning signs that are sometimes put out in lakes that have this algae confirmed. So certainly it's not that you have to stay away from all bodies of water, but just be concerned and be aware that this exists across Canada. All right, Megan, thank you.